Hello everybody, in this video I am going to show you how to set up tree sitter and some plugins. So in my first video I showed you how to set up and install tree sitter and get the syntax highlighting with it. But tree sitter is not only for syntax highlighting, its parsers can do many more things. So our first tree sitter plugin is nmts auto tag search that and go to their github page it will be in the description and copy the mm, url except for the github part so after that you need to go to your init.lua file and then go to your plugins folder in the lua folder go to the bottom and type use curly brackets and in quotations paste whatever you copied from the url Okay, after that you need to restart mm then do packer sync. Okay, now it has installed that. Now we need to set it up. So you need to copy this auto tag enable equals true. Go to your tree setter config. You don't need to create a new folder for this. Go to your tree setter config in the lower folder and then paste this. Okay, now if I restart nmm and go to index.html, this is a new file, uh, it didn't exist before and type html uh, in the, the tag and close the tag, it will automatically add the ending part and this is what the plugin does and there is also a fix if you have errors on lsp right now we haven't set up lsp right, uh, with neovim but we'll do after we'll do that afterwards so I'll copy this part and then go to your init.lua in the lua folder and tree setter config folder and then paste this at the top okay now after that uh, this is done now we will set up our second plugin which is nmts uh, rainbow okay search that and go to their github page and again copy the top part uh, of the url and exclude the github.com part then go to your plugins folder in lua folder and again type the use um, line i'm going to copy this again and select this and then paste it okay restart and then handle pack for sync okay now that has been installed now we need to set it up go to our tree setter config in the lua folder and copy this part Okay, now add a comma at the end of the auto tag uh, table and then paste this. Now, this enable in auto tag and uh, rainbow, it enables the plugin and extended mode over here. It uh, I'll show you what it does now. So, if we go to uh, uh, index dot html file uh, i have a project a html project so i'll go to that and in index dot html it highlights the tags also in different colors so i don't like that i'm going to disable that okay i'm going to uh, disable extended mode by setting it to false okay now i'll tell you what this plugin does as you can see here the parentheses color has changed and whenever you type uh, curly brackets inside curly brackets it has a, uh, a separate color so that you can understand which uh, bracket pairs you are in uh, like javascript files okay now i'll show you the third and last plugin 
which is nvim auto pairs this is not a tree setter plugin but you can add tree setters checking for that so again copy the top part this plugin it is made by the same person who has made nvim ts auto tag uh, so let's go back to our plugins folder and then use curly brackets in <coughs> quotations paste the url and close the curly brackets okay now do pull and factor sync after you restart in your vim okay now it has installed now we need to set it up go to the lua folder and press a to create a new file and if the if you type a path and if the folder does not exist already it will automatically create it for you so i'm going to type auto pairs dash config slash init dot lua okay now go to that folder and copy this here uh, now this this is that was auto type you have to copy this in auto pairs okay now colon wq and require auto pairs dash config okay now that's done if you go to the bottom and type opening curly brackets it will automatically close it for you now if you type uh, opening curly brackets and hold it uh, it will make many opening curly brackets and it will automatically close all of them and you can see that uh, rainbow nmts rainbow is automatically highlighting the brackets also so this is very useful and now this it is not a tree setter plugin but you can add tree setter checking to that so you can do that by copying this and then going to your auto pairs config paste this and change this to check underscore ts to true okay the colon wq and the init dot lua and the minute dot lua i have a alias v equals to nvim so whenever i have to open nvim i just type v so now uh, it has um, tree setter checking also and now i'll show you how to add indents whenever you press enter in uh, curly brackets so if you press enter it just goes to the next line it does not add a new line and indent it so let's go to our auto pairs config and go to without completion plugin and copy this part and then paste it at the end okay now whenever you press enter here it will add a new line and add an inlet okay now let's explore this nvim auto pairs plugin you can add your custom rules and also use tree setter and copy this part auto pairs enable equals true and then go back to your new web and lua slash tree setter config slash init dot lua and at the end add a comma and paste this okay i'll add um, a new line at the end here okay then now it uses tree setter also you can see and read more about this plugin uh, in the readme i link it in the description and this also integrates with different completion plugins um, and lsp so in this video i showed you how to use ts auto tag nmts rainbow and auto pairs and that's it for this video
if you like the video and learned something new from this video then uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and like the video if you liked it bye